If you're 3D printing on a glass bed and your first layer just won't stick, you may have heard that you can use hairspray as an adhesive. I have here Suave Max Hold Hairspray number eight. And let me tell you, the results have been really good. You're gonna to wanna to heat your bed up somewhere between 50 and 80 degrees Celsius and apply a generous but even layer of hairspray over the print bed. Let it sink in for a minute or two. Touch it with the back of your finger where there's no oils on it and it should be sticky and gross. If it is, then you did it right. I'll just mention while you're shopping for hairspray, you're gonna to wanna to find something that says max hold or long lasting. It's gonna be stickier and it's gonna work better. Now, other than using an adhesive like hairspray, if your first layer isn't going down right, you may wanna go back over your bed leveling procedure. Remember, you want your nozzle to be 0.1 millimeters away from the bed or the thickness of a piece of paper. Also, whatever you're using for a Z trigger, I'm using a BL Touch um, Z probe, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure your offset value is set correctly. Um, other than that, you can double check your temperatures. Whatever filament you're using, ABS, PLA, anything, you know, it has a suggested uh, print temperature on it. You're gonna to wanna to consider that for your hot end temperature. Uh, mine says 190 to 220, I'm printing at 200 uh, degrees Celsius, no issues there. Um, same thing with the print bed. Um, you're also gonna to wanna to do your bed leveling while your print bed is heated all the way up to temperature. So I just figured I'd throw those things in there because if you don't have that right, then this hairspray may not take care of your problems. So let's give this a try. Give the hairspray a good shake. We're gonna apply a nice even but generous layer. That's better. And I'm just gonna let that sink in there for a minute and I'm gonna bring the bed up. Okay, our nozzle's at 200 degrees. Our bed's at 80 degrees. We're all sliced and we're ready to start. Like a good first layer. That's just the skirt or the brim. Right I have my first layer going down at 50 millimeters per second. That's the feed rate. The slower you go, the better results you'll get, but the longer it will get. Let's look at the first layer. This is an F-18 fighter jet, coming from my friend in the Navy. He'll be flying these when he finishes flight school. First layer looks like it went down good, so hopefully this is a good file from Thingiverse, and I'll be able to show you the completed product. This is a completely custom Core XY build. We've got a Duet Wi-Fi, a BL Touch, and a Titan Aero Direct Extruder been a lot of fun putting it together and when I say that I mean it's taken me over 300 hours and I had to get a lot of help but now it's working and it was worth it. It's been about three hours and 20 minutes. I made the infill density 30% because I didn't want this thing to be flimsy. I printed it at 50 millimeters per second. It looks like the result's pretty good.